hello guys welcome back to another calc video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through a wood column so let me show you so first as soon as you open the inner calc this tab pops up and you can just say I have selected my project number and you can just say add and let's say wood column or else you can also go to file and say quick calc and wood column but these results won't be saved when you design something or when you look for results through quick calc it is just for showing I mean you can print them out but you won't be able to save them so let me cancel this let me say add wood column in my project now as you see the column material it's been already selected for us it's wood and the analysis method ASD so these are all the compression tension all those values share so first we'll select our wood species I mean for me it will be um, let's say southern pine grade 2 number 2 12 inches or 6 inches wide so number 2 2 to 4 inch 10 inches let me take 6 inches wide ok number 2 dense take 5 to 6 inches wide I'll select that I'll say select and these values change automatically as per this species now moving on so I will keep the column height as 10 feet and uh, I will go to column data so even this is automatically generated based on the species that you have selected but coming to the column size like how many I mean we have selected species which is 2 inches in thickness and 5 to and 6 inches in width so I'll be able to select 2 by 6 now that I have selected 2 by 6 I'll go to my loads and you can see okay I'll go to my loads this will be odd already auto calculation like it will be calculating the loads as soon as I update my it will be calculating the results as soon as I update my loads so I have over here add column weight as dead load yes I'll select that and axial loads so I'll say dead load as 2 kips and live load as 2 kips say add now I'll add another additional load which is 6 skips and let's say 6 skips which it won't be but if it is 6 skips and 6 skips so the basic thumb rule in mostly in the field is they will use a minimum of two numbers wherever you have a beam so for example if you have a beam then they will have a column underneath it and it will be minimum of two two by sixes or two two by fours or two two by eights or two two by tens like that depending on the width of the wall so since the minimum is two two by sixes we'll just make sure that the load it takes the load or not so it does take the load as you can see the stress ratio 
is less than one so it does take the load so over here we have our combinations and detailed results if you just expand them you will find the results in there and you also the reactions now looking at, looking at the sketch as you can see the load is applied exactly at the center okay and this is the x x and y y axis views now going to load let's say I am applying this at an eccentricity in x direction as 0 0.5 inches and 0 0.5 inches now I'll go to my capacities my results so it's failing again now in this case I'll just select 3 to by 6s and see if it passes or not so it does pass with 75% stress ratio so now if you see my drawing sorry my sketch there is load 2 over there and load 1 now coming to the slenderness usually uh, the column is braced in only one direction so whichever the direction it is braced like whichever the direction you have sheathing in that direction you can say fully braced and in the direction perpendicular to the sheathing you can select your ky factor considering top as pinned and the bottom as fixed we'll use our overall height and then we'll go to our capacities so as you can see now it's failing again now let's see if we have Y Y axis has braced I mean fully braced and X X axis as not braced so you can see um, this ratio is greater than 1 so the maximum number of by six as I can use is like five I mean in it's in most of the projects we use maximum number of five and if that doesn't work then we just move to a stronger beam which you will be learning in the next class so I'll just try four two by sixes now you can see four two by sixes is perfectly working if I say this is fully braced and this is not braced and even in the other direction also it's working perfectly with 66% as stress ratio now you have here, over here your drawings here movement and deflection like all the results you can find in there and you can even print them out for your copies alright guys thank you for watching energalc video tutorials